tips. But if you want to feel really good this morning, we have waited long enough. In fact, this showdown has been in the making for years. Cisco and Mary Morris, both accomplished gardeners, have been married for almost 40 years. One way they keep going is with separate sides of the garden, and we thought it was about time for a war, a container war. Let's meet our competitors, ladies and gentlemen, Mary Morris and Cisco Morris. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Oops. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Yeah. All right. So this is very exciting. Have you been preparing for this competition? Not at all. <laughs> Pro does not need to prepare. What about you? I don't need to prepare the wild pearl. Let oh. me tell you. Oh. I like the trash talking has started already. Well, I will give you the rules right now. They are simple. You each have a pot of your choosing. It wasn't my choosing. I wanted the blue one. Oh. Oh, well, my goodness. <laughs> well, we got that one out of the so way. I got the oh, red all right, one. well, you know what? <laughs> I, I'm the host of this show. Wait a no, minute. No. That's not because fair. Because I let him have the blue, so I got plants to go with the red. Okay. That's how flexible I am. That's how that's what <laughs> pro you are. All right, so <laughs> you brought your plants. I see that you chose your colors. So you're going to start by planting your, part, your pots, and along the way, I'll have to judge you and declare a winner, which I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but we're going to be ready. Are you ready? Uh, and I will say that this is a sun pot and this is a shade pot. Okay, so. that's good information to know. All right, are your marks? Get set, go. All right. Da, 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 da. I'm uh, making my own music. Um, so first of all, Mary, what are you starting with? I'm starting with a fat hedra, and I didn't pick this first. I walked into the nursery and I found these begonias Oh. And I love the color, so I knew I wanted to go with them. And I said, okay, I'll do the red pot. Then I needed something to go with them. Okay. And I love this foliage. I love it. It's so pretty. Yeah. And that's the star of the pot, right? The thriller? It is. And uh, I have one more kind of a co-thriller. Ooh, I like it. Just for something spiky. And the nice thing about this, it's a Dracaena, and it was only $5. Oh, my gosh. So, so, oh, that was only $5? Yeah, so <laughs> thrifty, too. Thrifty and bringing the triple threat. What do you got over here. Cisco. Hey, I'll tell you, the more you spend on plants, the better they look. So, <laughs> <laughs> now, now this for the thriller is such a cool plant. So, this is a dwarf Monterey cypress. Okay. It smells like lemon pledge. Oh, what could be better oh. than that? You oh, know? it does smell like lemon pledge <laughs> if you like lemon pledge. Yeah. yeah. And this is Wilma Goldcrest. It's a kind of a famous one. Okay. And, uh, the other thing I got for these, oh, these, are, these are the fillers. I love these coleus. And being the brilliant plant designer I am, yes. I got all sorts of different heights to give it added interest, you know. So, ah. so that, and uh, coleus come in a lot of colors, so you got to. But you went with this whole pink theme. I like it. Because did you know about the earrings I was wearing today? Is that why? Are you yeah. Oh, they spirit? match yeah, perfect. Yeah, you do match that. And he knows I always go for lime green and magenta. That's why he, he wanted the blue pot. Because yeah. uh, uh, I knew magenta wouldn't go with hey, this I, one. Oh. What can I say? You ha If you can't beat or cheat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my uh, that's my theory always in games. Um, so I have a question. So you usually use pink. You are using this nice orange and yeah, yellow. Yeah, isn't this great? I mean, look at that color. That is like and fire. These, yeah, they're like little roses or something. These are a hybrid begonia that I think, I just found them a couple years ago and they bloomed all summer. Okay, I think that's amazing because yeah. I want something that's going to continually bloom. I love your spillers here. These are yeah. like a Aren't succulent. Cool? And look. I needed something for a shade pot, and that looks like a sun plant. It does. But it can take full sun or full shade. This Isn't is that amazing? Brilliant plant. Yeah. It'll probably die in two weeks being oh, in the shade. We'll don't. see. <laughs> I told you now. Uh, probably now, what are it. your spillers? They look kind of crazy. Look at this spiller. So, this is a verbena mm -hmm. black velvet. I mean, just Ooh. the name enough is to make I the know. pot really good, you know. And, uh, it, you know, you, you, it's really nice to have something that weeps over the side and the color goes with the pot and it softens the whole uh, design yeah. and really adds an uh, extra element. 
I think it's really amazing. We've been talking, we've been using these terms thriller and spiller, but just to explain, like, what are the elements that go into designing a pot, Mary? Well, I think you want everything in scale, mm -hmm. and you want some different foliages, the spiky and the big leaves, and then color, mm -hmm. and then, you know, just just the contrast. You wouldn't want something way too tall and right. then a bunch of little stuff. And this will continue to grow, and, and, and how do you, by the way, when, when something gets maybe, you know, the, the ends get brown, how do you cut it? Do you cut it at the base? Uh, I don't know. I, on formiums, I sometimes just cut the tips okay. off. I'm not sure about this one. Sometimes I don't have to worry about it because the dogs wreck everything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> or or he'll steal your flowers. That's you know, he's true. brought your stolen flowers in here before. <laughs> yeah. All right, but Cisco, I have a question. I love uh -huh. this pink, pink, and this bright. Even if you stole her color scheme, that's okay. Um, do men and women see color differently? You know, this is the sad part about gardening is that uh, men and women have different color receptacles in our brains. And so we see color totally different. 40% of men are color dysfunctional. We need Viagra for this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is tough. Iagra, maybe. <laughs> I like it. Okay. But, but there's ways you could cheat when you're at the nursery. A lot of times what they'll do is they'll stick plants together that oh, go that's together. Helpful. That is so helpful. I always cheat a little check just to make <laughs> sure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's really fascinating, and I also have to say, no matter what, I love that you two have been together for so long. I know it's by keeping us a, a separate garden from each other. Of course. <laughs> That's wait, the only reason. That's, <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be this, too. The picture, can we see the picture of Cisco? <laughs> Did you, so you took one look at that, Mary, and you said, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was into old hippies, but, but you know, if we were having a pot contest back then, he'd win because it would be a different kind of pot contest. <laughs> oh, la, la! I did it! Oh, my God! All right, I only have 30 seconds left right now to declare a winner. I, I, it's really hard because I love the pink in this. I love the brightness. I love the lemon pledge plant. But I'm sorry, this oh, is my no! favorite. I got like succulent things and it's spiky and crazy. I, I love it. It's just clever. She won on points for creativity and challenge. It's not your fault because I see color better. I'm appealing this decision. Maybe we can just, you know, talk about the pop wars outside and relax a little.